This is the argument for morality. Bill Craig has this on his website, and I borrow some of it. If God does not exist, objective moral values and duties do not exist. However, objective moral values and duties do exist. Therefore, God exists. Many of us in our common vernacular, common culture, argue, especially in a secular realm, that morals are subjective. You know, it's whatever you want it to be. Nothing's really right and wrong. Really? Then why are you arguing so venomously for LGBT rights? So you do believe it's wrong what some people do to the LGBT community, don't you? Or those who argue for the pro-choice cause. They really believe a woman has a fundamental right for an abortion. Well, wait a minute. So it's wrong to curtail that right? So you do believe in right and wrong, don't you? Now let's talk about it, baby. Where'd that come from? Maybe a man named Moses off Mount Sinai came down with what is written, the laws of the Ten Commandments. Murder wasn't wrong because he brought it down. It was already wrong before he brought it down. And what God is saying here is there's a law above all our laws, and that law comes from an ultimate source. By the way, let me make a side point. There are many atheists and Muslims I know personally who are better people than some Christians I know. Being, believing in God is not necessary for you to be, live a good life or a moral life. But you need God for there to be goodness in the universe. For goodness itself to even make sense, you need a higher source. Okay, let me just clarify that.